Hello, and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. How y'all doing? I'm doing pretty good. We are, <clears throat> well, let's see. Uh, I had it marked on my map that the mutant in question was east, but in fact it is south. Maybe it's southwest? I have a red marker to my southwest. No, it is in fact southeast. I'm not really looking forward to this because I don't really know what to expect and it's always um you know not knowing what to expect is is worse than knowing the worst does that make sense Th does that make sense all right we're I'm not seeing anything oh I think I see something. Let me have a closer look. That kind of looks like a nightmare or night terror. Um. Hmm. Oh, God. So, I don't know what the heck this thing is. I don't know if I'm hurting it when it does that. Okay. So what the heck is this thing? Well, it's dead, whatever it is. Um, not really seeing my, my, oh God. Oh, that's a horrible sound. Oh my God. What the heck was that? I have no idea what was go what's going on. Uh oh god, lurker. Oh god, that almost killed me. Please don't kill me. No, never mind. Well, that's really unfortunate cuz we managed to kill two fairly dangerous mutants. I think I might save my, um, uh, 559, I forget what it, uh, which, my, my, my main rifle ammo. As much as it was in, a uh, like, surplus before, it's not really anymore. Um, but that was terrifying. I have no idea what it was, or uh, I guess we'll find out. So we only had seven bullets in this thing? We only have 13 in that in that one. Okay, so we are kind of exclusively using our shotgun In a way that I don't know Yeah, th this just all sucks While he does that, I'm going to reload, because I'm not sure that he takes damage when that's happening. Okay, that was a lot easier this time. Let's do a quick save, and we're about to encounter something terrifying. Jesus. I feel like I need some psi blockers. That is actually awful. Losing more of your sanity. Wow. You have escaped a fate worse than death. Jesus. 
That is really annoying, actually. That effect was it was cute the first time, but not so cute after you've seen it uh, when you see it like three times in a row. But also, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna try um, looking through my inventory for some uh, psi resistance because I'm pretty certain that that's what this is. Uh, we could try this. Psi resistance plus 10%. Okay, well that's one dead. I'm pretty sure there is another one. May as well chop this lad up while I'm here. <laughs> Cannabis joint. Really, that's that's what we're collecting from that thing? There was a lurker over here. So what what the heck is this thing? Controller. Okay, we have uh, we have our lurker. Oh god, I don't think that's a lurker. Damn. Um I'm pretty sure that's a lurker, but it actually might be a chimera. We just have all the stuff over here. Everything, everything I've never met in, or before. So a controller is what that was. So I assume, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the, the psi resistance helped. But I don't know. Okay, so now we just have... Did I already kill the other thing? I'm kind of lost between saves now. I'm pretty sure the lurker slash whatever it is, is in fact my target. Let's reload. Damn, where is it? Supposedly it's like right in front of me. I think it's chasing um, some of those boars or fleshes or whatever. Man, what is going on? There's dogs. Fleshies. What? Where? Where is the lurker? Or whatever it is. Where is it? You can shoot it any time you want. I suppose I can too. Eliminate dangerous mutant. That was the dangerous mutant. You're kidding me. There ain't no way that was a dangerous mutant. We've got controllers, uh, murmurs or whatever those weird goblins are. We've got chimeras hiding somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. But it's the flesh. The flesh is the is the dangerous mutant. That is just truly bizarre. All right. Well, whatever um, We're kind of done here. What is this base east base? This is a base apparently No way I have to see this for myself Is, is this a base out here? I'm gonna walk in. I walked right over it. 
I think this is just a convenient um, fast travel point, and, and that's it. Like, I don't think that it serves any other purpose. So just to make sure, I did, in fact, uh, grab this stuff, right? No, I didn't. Okay. Mutant controller. Well, dang. We, f we fought some um, pretty spicy stuff. I don't think I would have been able to do any of this without my friends. The The real zone was the friends we made along the way, you know? Um, all right, so there's some interesting stuff in the Dead City. There is a stash in Dead City. I don't know if that's worth it. Um, there is a couple stashes in um, the Wild Territory. I don't think I want to do those. We have one stash in army warehouses. Supposedly, the army warehouses are controlled by freedom. So that might be fine. Pipe at base entrance. We could check, we could check that out. But let's start by, oh, yeah. But let's, let's start by handing in um, this, this mission. I might head back to Cordon because apparently there's just a ton of stuff to do at Cordon. Um, you know, stashes to collect and uh, missions to do and all kinds of stuff. I'd like to grind up a bit more money, uh, maybe buy a portable ware uh, a workshop. There's not really much reason to do that, but like, I think you like having access to a portable workshop for my own like maintenance between episodes would be really nice and um it would save me like the money to check things like crafting stuff like that i mean we can we can definitely like we can uh use the um toolkits to check recipes i don't actually have to use a vice but um you know it, it's still a nice thing to have it also connects to inventory i believe job is done Nine thousand. Okay, I mean that's not nothing. Any work you want done? Uh, location army warehouse uh, fortified checkpoint. No thanks. Uh, got some booze you want to shot? I don't know. Um, any work you want done? Target weapon location garbage road lo blockade duty faction duty mercenary. You want me to attack the duty or mercenaries? Decided to start a rat hunt in this group. I won't go into details. Your task is to come to the meeting place and pick up the goods by force bring the product to me i'll find a use for it okay well we're headed that way anyway at this point i just want to take as many um missions as i can that seem doable and do them you know and and uh slowly make up currency so is this the this is a scouting area this is also a stash this is the transaction, okay. And then we have uh, undercover ag agent needs to be extracted, extracted from. A, okay, yeah. There's generally a bandit base there, so that makes sense. So let's go to the train hangar. I I am glad I started. Uh, like I I know maybe it takes a little bit some of something from the you know the series, the authenticity of the series. But I am glad that I started fast traveling because at a certain point. It just, it's, it just, it would have been way too much, way too much wandering, uh, around, um, to get, you know, to one side and the other. And, and I do know that like, yeah, we missed something. We missed the random encounters that I would have had along the way. Um, but I'm going to have those anyway. Hello. Hello. What? What? Wait. Do you want to come up? We, we're going to get, um, whoa, that was fun um, before I really get my feet wet with this combat I am gonna take a swig mission updated from Ukraine with love seems like this is the transaction that is going down right now
the guy behind the tree there. Oh. My friend is like getting in the way. You guys are going to get killed if you're not careful. Jesus. That guy took a lot of shots to kill. I only have three bullets left on my rifle. I need to heal up my arm Might do a couple of these actually And then we're gonna do uh, a med kit I got some trait points from that We only have one bullet left Ah, jeez No, is that my friend? Oh, that's that that dude is a friend and that's a friend Really hard to tell right now Ouch Okay, let's peel up our legs and stuff and I'll use another arm This is actually giving us quite a lot of experience right now I'm going to save after this. Really, really glad our friends are still alive. Wait, that's, that's our friend. Oh, God damn it. I had, I had my bead on him. Don't die, dude. Back up. No, back up. Ouch. Stop pushing me. Jesus. Still more of them. This is this is quite the thing I took on. It'll be a lot to go through. I might have to do a pause. Ouch. Oh my god. I'm dying. Going through a lot of bandages right now. I'm out. I'm out, I'm out of basic med kits. Dang. Do I have any cars left? I do have a car. Yeah. What's up? I know those those bandits. They they suck, right? Rain. Are we good? I still think there's more of them.
We finally dead. Are we good? My god. Oh, there's a lurker over here. Okay, um, definitely... Definitely I'm gonna have to do a pause here because there's gonna be a lot of disassembling, collecting of stuff. Um, looks like one of these lads picked up a gun. Um, I gotta go. Let's let's find the stash first. Is this it? That, that was it. Transaction completed. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do a quick pause here because you don't need to see me looting every single body and disassembling everything and doing all that stuff. So I'll, I'll see you real soon. All right. Hello. Welcome back. Um, I went through all of the mercenary bodies and I've dumped everything in this box here. Um, I'll probably, you know grab this stuff like at a, at a certain point i want to do a, a like a great consolidation um consolidate a lot of junk uh sell a lot of junk and then uh, pick a spot that's going to make a good base of operations probably the bar uh and then set up like a work a, you know actual workshop and garage and stuff like that and have some have some stuff some some quality of life features and uh you know so on i've taken on a mission i also sold uh the our, our mutant lad had a mission Oh, hello. Uh, monolith, huh? This is our first monolith lad. Not sure. Or I did not see this guy. Okay. So, um, I, I took on a mission to deliver a chimera claw. So one of our chimera claws is now gone. Uh, I say one of, like, they're all gone now. Our armor is looking not so good. So at a certain point, I'm going to have to stop and do some management on that. Uh, I really don't want to... I don't want our armor getting too low. So what I might do is take um, the armor parts that are in the chest behind me and uh, take them to the farm and then do a bit of consolidation and repair so that uh, we can we can uh, get our, our armor back up to code. Cause I'm not looking, I'm, I'm not liking where, it, where it's at right now. Monolith faction patch. Okay. What's, what is this guy's deal? He's got very awful looking hands. Correct? What? Master Gray. Strange, okay. Well, there's a mutant to kill. Um, just across the way here. Probably nothing too spicy. Uh, it's just like a dernal. What do you call it? Call, call hunting. Butcher tracked down a mutant lair that needs clearing. I've agreed to do the dirty work of fleshing it out. Diurnal predator. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but it generally means, you know, something not too spicy. So we'll take care of that now. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just going to be doing some some missions nothing nothing too tough uh i am tossing the idea we seem to have three friends now i guess one of them i have to bring to uh back to the bar so i might do a fast travel to the bar uh, i also do have to cook some food do i have any fuel i do not have any fuel i should have bought some fuel um we're, our dude is getting kind of hungry so i'm gonna have to deal with that we're also running out of water so there's a quite a bit of um upkeep that I'm, I'm gonna have to do so i'm pretty sure it is doggos oh ouch damn it just a split second too late what what was that and Okay, that was good. Honestly, the pistol is great for uh, killing dogs. I, I I hate saying stuff like that, but it's true. Also, after all of that, like using med kits and all of our patches and stuff, I did I did buy a bunch of med, med kits. We're we're getting pretty good uh, up there with our money again. So I might I might uh, I'm highly tempted to buy that uh, portable workshop. What is happening? Uh oh. Oh, the crows! The crows, that, that, that means an emission. Shoot. I forgot about that. Damn it. Hopefully we're close enough. If 
find shelter. I don't think I'm gonna make it. My dude is hungry, unfortunately. I don't have any food. Let's, uh, do a, um, caffeinated beverage so I can run. Pretty sure I'm not gonna make it, so I'm gonna have to load. Yeah. Man, it's gonna suck if I die right in front of the door. Come on. Uh. uh, okay, well, we're gonna load anyway because all of my friends just died. All of my friends have just died. <sighs> Brutal. I'm not gonna lose all of my friends to the mission. This is not an Iron Man playthrough. <laughs> So that the crows are a signal that you you got to we got to leave. Pretty sure if I leave right as I hear the crows and you have a good chance of making it. Okay, come on. Come on, buds. There we go. All right, so I'll do another pause here and I'll probably cook some food. Uh, are you a good guy? Yeah, you are. Okay, good. All right, I'll do another pause. I know I'm doing a lot of pausing, but a lot of stuff is happening that just requires me to wait around for a little bit. All right, so the emissions passed and I also cooked some food, which we're going to eat some of now. And I feel like I'm like finally kind of on top of things. Like I'm, I'm making enough money now that I can cover my bases. Um, you know, we, we, I've done enough inventory management between rounds that I don't feel like completely taxed all of the time. And having a couple of friends with you um, definitely super helps. Uh, make things a bit more manageable when you're, you know, fighting like baddies in, in the wastes. Uh, I'm gonna take some of this stuff. Oh wow, those are like basically broken, like completely broken. Um, I don't yet know how to make armor pieces, unfortunately. I don't have the means or like the know-how for making, um, equipment, but I can, I, I think I can repair. So I should be able to do that. So I need, I think I grabbed everything I need. Cloth and I, I need this synthetic roll. Did I grab that too? Yeah, I did. This is a, oh no, treated fabrics. Um, so I should be able to use, like consolidate some of this. I'm going to, we're going to go to the bar. I'm just going to fast travel to the bar. So we can, um, I know, I know we have that, that thing there, but I, I want to actually, are these, I don't know if some of these are missions that I took in the bar. So maybe we should, in, like clear um, the garbage before we take off and I am just realizing now that it's late so why don't we go ahead and sleep for the night we'll head off in the morning and uh, well at least we'll be like fully healed ish nice uh, and our dude is very hungry so I'll have to eat some more food. Unfortunately, like the food situation, um, you know, I think I thought we were on top of it. I we'll, we'll kill a couple dogs and we'll have some more meat we can cook later. I do wish I, I really wish you could like, um, you know, batch roast bat. Like I know you can batch roast, but only over the fire. I wish you could batch cook meals because it is kind of a pain in the butt if I'm being honest taking hold of the old train hanger for quite some time so we're gonna we're gonna complete um, a few quests oh got a doggo oh 
they uh, ran into an anomaly and died. And now they are jibbed. Dang, that, that was their meat. Okay. Um, yeah, that sucks for them. Uh, we're going to go and grab a stash then. But that was the last dog in uh, as part of that quest. I am just going to like, you know, dot my T's and, and cross out my I's. And just try and get as much done in uh, the garbage while I'm here. Oof, almost ran right into an anomaly. Our lads are here to help. Um, I think one of them, one of the dogs ran into another anomaly, which, um, doesn't get any less funny, honestly. Okay, we're very close here. There it is. Wait, no. Small bore rifle repair kit. That was not the stash. There's the stash. I grabbed it. We're good to go. I don't want to be anywhere near this. We've retrieved encrypted documents. Where are you guys going? You guys are just like going. Okay, you you guys really wanted to kill whatever was over here. And it was a zombie. Nothing useful here. Pretty sure I saw something in this bush. No. Okay, um, every once in a while I pull out the detector and some kind of vain hope. Uh, all right, let's see, um, there's another stash to our west and we also have to scout the area to our west. It will not surprise me. T generally speaking, those scout, uh, scout missions tend to, like, walk me right into a, uh, bandit camp. Oh god, we got quite a lot of radiation here. There's our stash up there. We're um, checking a lot of boxes right now. This is not our stash. Well, where is our stash? What does it look like if it's not, if it's not that? very like obvious thing oh shoot ow ow god damn Wow. Did not expect to get ambushed by bandits, but I guess you never do, do you? Grab some more stuff. He has a pretty not terrible shotgun. Ooh. And a weapon mechanism upgrade kit. I guess I got that out of the shotgun. He had an upgraded shotgun, which is nice. Still have to find that stash, but we got a bunch of stuff to collect here now. Yeah, I just like I've just been dumping stuff off at that crate there, um, and like I say, I will at some point do a do a consolidation. It's gonna take me a long time though. That, like inventory management, even at the best of times, takes me about an hour just to like go through all our stuff and you know, oh, is this gun any good and no okay disassemble it and i mean like you saw even just disassembling all of the ammo and then making ammo takes 
a good amount of time like it must be said it's it's quite a, a lot of time to just like disassemble all your stuff i think it's worth it though i think that at a certain point it is worth doing um am i starting to get a little tired of it yeah but you know i'm, I'm not there yet i'm still willing to do it but like where is this is it in this can where is our stash here what does it say on the map companion what companion i feel like i'm hearing a bloodsucker i think that our companion marker is on top of the stash and so it's not telling me what it is stash okay well sometimes they're helpful and they tell you what they are and then other times it's this situation where I cannot, for the life of me, find the thing. It's, I have generally found that the marker on the map is accurate. And I don't have to, like, play hide and seek with it. But, you know, there's a first time for everything, maybe. I just like I, I I can't even see anything that might I I just can't believe it's not this thing It just sticks out like a sore thumb and it's exactly the kind of thing that would be a stash This really sucks actually. Oh There we go Okay, well we did it um there's like one more thing to do here and that is scout this area so let's go ahead and scout that area i am starting to get to the limit of my encumbrance we don't even have to we shouldn't have to get like that close to it yeah we already got we, we did it scout the area around rostock is this this is not really around rostock Um, generally it leads to another scout. So there's call hunting there. Yeah. Okay. So there's another scout over there. This stash, it seems like actually inaccessible. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Can't sleep with my ass glowing. I guess I took on too many, too much radiation. Okay. We'll just walk back. It's not the biggest deal ever. So I think, um, well, we've still got plenty of time to do stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to hand in the missions, uh, a couple of missions at the bar. I do really need to take care of our, uh, armor. It's, it's really suffering right now. Um, but I think I can make it through this episode before I do that. Cause that, that is going to be a lot of time spent. And I don't really want to, I, I don't want to do it until I have to basically. Do we have enough? I, I think, oh, I had a chimera pelt. What is this gauze batteries? What is this? That can use a capsulated fragment of the flash artifact as their power source. Manufactured using high-tech equipment. This is interesting. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, I'm walking through some more radiation. No, no, no biggie. Well, running, you know, running through some radiation. It doesn't make it much better, but it is, you know, it is better. Believe it or not. I could just use a couple of these medium armor repair kits, but the thing is, is that doesn't actually repair the components. It just repairs uh, the condition of it. I guess it... Does this have a condition? Yeah, does we need to repair not just the condition of the armor but also the condition of the components it's a whole thing it, i won't lie it's a lot i talk about this stuff now like it's obvious 
but it's I mean it is a little bit of a learning curve I won't I won't lie honestly the most helpful thing is that the um the escape from Pripyat discord where you get the collection of mods has some very helpful uh like infographics that let you know what repairs what how to repair what how to like field strip guns you know how different stuff is effective like honestly the biggest learning curve is knowing like when you can use certain gun grease another bandit lad uh w when certain gun grease is effective and when it's not that's like the most helpful thing uh, once you figure out that, then you start to realize, um, which, like, interfaces, like, basically how to read information in this game. Oh, also, we do have unspent trait points. I should do that at some point. There's apparently a bunch of mutants, or not mutants, merc uh, bandits attacking us right now. They'll be fine. They really should just get in here and then we can fight them as a group, but. Oh no, the game crashed. No. Okay. My last save was uh, just before I collected the stash. So not great, but honestly it took me all of like three minutes. So we're all good. Uh, do you have any stories about them? If you have any, oh, another chimeric law. I don't have any more of those. Um, crow beak. I don't have any of this stuff. Actually, I might have a boar pelt. I oh, probably don't actually. All right. So, um, we're pretty much done here. I'm pr I think there's nothing else left. Uh, apparently there is a scout mission. Darn that scout mission. It's not going to be worth it. What do you mean? Okay, what absolute shenanigans. That is the worst shenanigans I've ever seen in this game. I, like, for real, the worst. They just like casually walk out of the building. I was literally just inside. My God. Brazen. Totally brazen. Okay. Well, I mean, sometimes you see the, uh, you know, the man behind the curtain and it, uh, it sucks. Okay. Let's do this real quick i am gonna go to the bar and hand in a bunch of quests and um i don't think that there's i'd probably end the episode there because there's really not a lot else i can start right now there's like i i've done a lot of stuff and i've got to do a lot of management and uh recoup some of our supplies like i'm almost out of water I need some more food um you know stuff like that so Let's start by going to the... Actually, let's get that stupid scouting mission. Darn that scouting mission. And, you know, I was going to say, uh, as soon as I, like, start to lose the habit of, of uh, manually saving, like, every 10 seconds, the, the game teaches me a harsh lesson. And uh, it's like, no, you, you really do have to save, like, as often as possible. The more you save, the more you will you know be you, you'll be better for it but it's really funny like you know i was for a moment i was like yeah I don't, I'm, I'm good i'm actually feeling pretty comfortable nope game crash get crashed nerd you are not okay <laughs> nothing is okay right now the game crashes very infrequently exactly frequently enough to warrant saving often 
Uh, and obviously, you know, things can happen in the zone that uh, also warrant uh, saving often, like emissions. Um, you know, things that, although you are given a lot of warning for, you can still make a mistake. And let's be honest, I don't think anyone would be doing what we're doing. So let's go back to Rad's bar. I'll do a pause so you don't have to wait through the loading screen. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm very tired of like coming into a zone, fast traveling to a zone, and then there's just a firefight. not a good feeling i won't lie oh, man also bar just kind of sucks i just don't like bar <laughs> really not a fan all right i'm gonna we're gonna hand in a bunch of quests we'll see how much money i have afterwards i don't know if there's really much reason for me to keep this part Whoa, 20,000, huh? That's not bad at all. I mean, I'm pro I'm betting that package I gave you was really good, actually. Any work you want done? Basic tools? Never mind. Any work you want done? Eliminate dangerous mutants. Garbage rock road bl blockade. Special mutants. Sure. Any work you want done? Basic tools? Any work you want done? Basic tools? Forget about it. Ain't happening unless I get duplicate basic tools, which is not, you know, it, it could happen. What's down here? Anything cool? No, nothing cool. You guys are going to be in my way. Get out of my way. You guys are in the way. Oh my God. The worst trait of companions in any stalker game ever is they do not know how to not be in your way so i think i'm gonna buy a workshop i keep saying it but it keeps being true um I'm, i've got a very nice surplus of money right now feeling pretty good about that how the heck do i get god i, I i'm gonna say it i hate bar <laughs> This place sucks. It's just such a pain in the butt. Nothing, nothing is obvious, you know? What's your deal? You have anything? You got like nothing. Well, you do have a uh, weapon body upgrade kit advanced. It's not bad, but you won't buy anything. Oh my God. What? Highest piercing, pierced armor class five, tissue damage rating very high. Uh, this ammo is ex apparently insanely valuable. It honestly makes me not want to sell it. That is the most I've, excuse me, you are actually trapping me. That's the most I've ever seen for a single item, 15,000 rubles. That's crazy. Hey, buddy. I, I hate that there's always an NPC right there. The job is done. 7,000. Retrieve the encrypted documents. There you go. Uh, any work you want done? Rostock, south of the entrance to the bar. Uh, I don't have anything else. Dog liver. Moonlight artifact. Nah, never mind. I'm good for now. Have uh, anything to sell? Got, you've got a portable workshop. Now the thing is, if I buy that now, I might be over encumbered. Let's uh, sell some of that stuff. I know. I am. I, I was. I'm very tempted to keep that because whatever. Like, whatever needs that ammo type is probably very good, and maybe one day I will have that, and then I'll wish I had the ammo. But, like, I have to imagine that when I'm at the point where I have whatever that is, I can probably afford to um, buy it or make it. You know, like, at a certain point, 
I think you gotta you gotta do what's best for the moment and not for the future. The future will come and you'll you will deal with it when it does. But uh, for the time being, you know we're we're living in the present. Um, all right, so I am buying a portable workshop. I'm very excited about this. High capacity, integrated, usable for repairing equipment, valuable technological item. Okay. Is there more hand-ins? There is. Uh, yeah, that's the dude. That That is, uh, the hand-in for this extra companion, I'm pretty sure. Which I'm hoping will be a nice chunk of money. Shouldn't have stayed up all night. I'm exhausted. I know how he feels. I've had my sleeping schedule all messed up recently. It's no good. It's no fun. Hey, dude. The job is done. 3,000? What? This is... Okay. Well, you want bandit patches? That I always have. Any work you want done? Freedom patches. Might actually have that. How many freedom patches do I have? Ecologists, duty, clear sky, military. I've got tons of renegade, mercenary. Apparently I do not have any freedom. I, my, you know, my character just doesn't like to kill freedom. If I was gonna side with one, I would probably side with freedom. Job is done. Oh, there we go. Apparently I took more than one quest. Receive new stash coordinates. I must take a look. Okay, we lose a companion, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure that they were spawning enemies in to try and kill him. So, um, you know, I'm good. So there's nothing else. Cool. We're good. We're actually great. Um, so at this point, like, we're very close to, like, being done I'm still playing with the idea of making this our base of operations. Um, the only thing that's really stopping me, if I'm being honest, is I don't like this place. I don't like farm either. Like, farm sucks. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I like it in theory. It's a very wholesome place. It's comfortable. I know it well. And the... Um, the uh, NPCs there are very convenient. Like, they're right next to each other. Love farm. You know the problem with farm? Here's the problem with farm. They spawn enemies there, like, constantly. They constantly spawn enemies there, and it sucks, and I hate it. I hate that they spawn enemies there, and I have to clear them out, and it's just a pain in the butt. Um, I'm going to mark these as junk. We don't need either of those oh that's uh not junk that's favorite yo play it yeah mm. isn't this the the guy don't you sell stuff? Hey, you do sell stuff. What are you doing out? Man, you know what would make this place even worse than, like, even less of a candidate for me personally? If NPCs wander around, that would make this place intolerable. I would not be able to hack it at all. I hate that. Uh, I hate when NPCs can wander because then I can never find them. All right, uh, I'm going to call the episode here and um, I'm going to be doing a ton of management. I think I'll start by going to the swamp or I don't think I don't know if there's anywhere nearby that I can get water from, but uh, I'm going to start with that. Um, but yeah, I, I need some water and um, I need to I need to do a bunch of stuff, but we're going to go to the farm and uh, I'm going to try and repair our kit and I'll set up the portable workshop there to start with 
actually you know what i'll include that let's let's set up the portable workshop i can't not like it's kind of a milestone i don't know i'm sure for anyone who's like played this game at all there you know people are probably thinking portable workshop is really not all that dude it's probably not exciting it's overpriced it doesn't pay for itself you don't need it uh you're probably not wrong and i'm making it into something it's not it's it's probably not exciting in any way but i if I, i'm hoping that there are a couple of things first of all the fact that it has an attached inventory i'm really hoping means i can store the tools and that means i don't have to have the tools on me like i'm really hoping it just pulls from the inventory so i don't have to do anything like i don't have to carry a ton of stuff all of the time that's what i'm really hoping but we'll see let's let's give it a go i'm all, uh, like i'm gonna do a save I, I hope that this thing is like it doesn't get used up oh that's interesting oh that's very novel okay interact access stash oh you can pick it up okay good I'm really hoping this thing doesn't like crash the game somehow. Now, something I am going to need to do, I'll do a little bit of this before um, I end the episode, but I, I need to buy that um, kit that uh, for repairing. We're gonna move these, all these toolkits over, and I just want to see. I just want to see if it'll access these toolkits that would be so nice you know what would be also very nice is if the game did not spawn enemies on me for a little bit oh and it doesn't have it doesn't do the animation that's so nice it doesn't have the stupid animation where it's like you know like you have you pull out the freaking have to pull out the toolkits and and place them down on the thing this is very very nice um I would I I'm gonna say it I think it's worthwhile just for the convenience of of like being able to you know use it without the stupid animation and we'll see maybe it's even it's it's more worthwhile but I can I can dump all of our stuff in this workshop and that is mm. that is worth it I think um, so I'm gonna get go uh, get started on uh, repairing our armor and, and maintaining all of our guns. I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. And um, yeah, I, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I can't buy the freaking kit here. No. Can I? I wonder if I have to. I can only buy it at the bar. Do you have a kit? Oh man. I need the kit for repairing my armor. Okay, well, I'll figure it out on my own time. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.